Well, Grant, you can't have Christmas without NBA action. Do you remember your first Christmas Day game? Uh, B.A., I do. And it was in 1996. I had a pretty good game, but we lost to Michael Jordan and the Bulls. They won 69 games that year in the championship, so at least we lost to the best. Here are the five for the Suns. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Kevin Durant is out there with Josh Okoge. And it's Biombo in at the pivot spot, batting the middle. I just don't say it much for a center, but high basketball IQ for Jokic might be his greatest strength. Pass to Okoge. Paul against Murray. Back to Okoge. Now here's Booker from deep. Jokic grabs the board. Here's the three, and Caldwell Pope gets it to go. And that's what they want to do, get him open looks early. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Here's Booker. And it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Still Phoenix's ball. Phoenix ball. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Leaner from distance, and he hits the jumper. And maybe a deep breath moment for them. They're now one for four to start the game. Well, these Suns have had a successful past couple of seasons. Yeah, B.A., I mean, they certainly know the greatness they're capable of. They can give you a lot of confidence out there on the floor, even against other elite teams. Yep, that one goes. And Jokic's decision-making is absolutely elite taking that catch and shoot that time outside Booker back to Paul pass to Biombo shot clock at six here's Okogi now Durant and he banks in the layup how about a show of power from KD he knew the contact was coming and ripped right through it Here's Caldwell Pope. Here's Strickland. And he drops it in from the low post. I love the execution we are seeing thus far. Four shots and four makes. Up top, Paul. Defended by Murray. Pass to Okogi. Booker with it. Let's go with a three. Booker missing again. Now one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. On the wing, Caldwell Pope taking a look at his production, averaging just over eight points a game. And it's Strickland missing. We're not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Paul, shot is off. Denver in the lead. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Outside Murray. Tipped. Here's Strickland. Gordon right side. Back to MP. He tries for three. And another shot. And it's Jokic laying it in. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. And the Suns call time here. They come into this one having outplayed the Grizzlies last time. In that game, they were the enforcers, and they were also efficient. That's the kind of balance coaches look for. Well, easy to be efficient on nights like that when everybody has things going. Let's see if they're still in the rhythm tonight. And we played through the first minute here in the second. And the Suns miss again. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Well, don't forget about Jamal Murray. This guy is back. He's as good as any other point guard in the Western Conference. Murray and Caldwell Pope with the backcourt pairing. Gordon is the four with the Joker in the middle. And it's MP in at the three. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. And Phoenix has possession following the score by Denver. Ball against Murray. Pass to Okogi. Shot clock at five. 
And the Suns miss again. You know, with Murray, he's an efficient, high-volume scorer with a complete offensive game, Brent. No doubt, B.A. Scores at all three levels, has a great handle. And I'll tell you what, this is about recovery. Jamal getting back, being focused to return to the game that has eluded him from injuries the past couple years. He is focused. Who poked away. It's stolen by MP. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. Jokic has got five assists tonight. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Hooker no good. And here's Denver. It's been eight unanswered for them to the paint. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Well, he made some kind of adjustment to his game after a poor first half. He's been impressive shooting the ball during the second. Free throw good. MP. Well, Brent, the relationship between players and refs can sometimes seem a little hostile. Does it need to be that way? Well, you and me have our little tiffs, don't we, Brian? So, yes, in order for us to do our best work. Uh, no, I'm kidding. It doesn't have to be that way. But, look, when you're at this level of competition, it's heated, it's intense. Sometimes get outside your gourd a little bit. And that's when instances like this can happen between a player and a referee. And that goes for both sides. Now here's Booker. Coming off a solid outing against Memphis. Paul's got space. Phoenix no good that time either. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Trailblazers was a man on a mission. He dropped 23 points and his shot was looking pure from downtown and from the line. He's been unbelievable their last few games and he'll present quite a challenge again here tonight. Guys, over to you. Outstanding, thanks. Impressive ability to carry his team to victory, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I was really impressed. They wouldn't have won the game if it wasn't for his attacking mindset and will to win. Yeah, going up against a team that had no answer for him, we'll see if it plays out the exact same way here tonight. I can't believe it. I mean, he can't buy a basket in the second period. He might want to keep the ball moving. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Now here's Booker. A matchup problem for many teams. He's currently averaging 29 a game to the left side wing. Another miss. They desperately need a bucket. Denver has got it going from deep. Three for three so far in the quarter. Now look at this Denver team, and you just expect them to be good for a long time. Obviously, MVP and Jokic, but their best players, all young, signed the long-term deals. They should be able to compete. Phoenix calls timeout. Yeah, great job by the Nuggets putting together this core. They're set up for success for a while, Brent. Yeah, well, we saw that potential B.A. come out in the bubble getting to the conference finals, and now it's about getting key <laughs> players back to health and at full. And so it's Denver with a gigantic 33-point lead at the close of the quarter. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. We'll be right back with you shortly. Welcome back, one and all, for more NBA Christmas Day action. And the Nuggets shooting has been on another level. 68% for the game. Kicking off the second half, here's Monty Williams 5. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Josh Okoge is out there with Kevin Durant. And it's Biombo in at the 5 spot. And that one's good. Murray's got 5 points. Murray's starting to feel the J here, sinking these shots time and time again. Pass to Okogi. Back to Paul. Good work there as it goes. Paul's got his first bucket in this one. What about the courage right there? Sacrificing his body to get the high percentage attempt at the rim. MP, the pass to Jokic. Up and over Biombo. And there's Jokic on the assist by MP. Give him eight. And the defense has to be aware that Jokic is still capable from the mid-range. Outside Paul. 
Pass to Booker. Paul against Murray. Outside Booker. Down to five on the shot clock. For three, Durant. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And Kevin Durant post-Achilles surgery. No apparent decline, Grant. Last season, the third highest scoring average of his career. I mean, incredible. Almost 30 points a game. Think about this. Two of the four times he's led the league in scoring, he did it averaging less points per game. And his efficiency, huh, good as ever. Here's Okogi, covered by MP. Gordon with a steal. Jokic up top. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Defensive foul. Chris Paul. That's his first personal foul. You think about some of the great young centers in this league, but when it comes to making everyone around him better, Jokic is the man. If you could pick any center in the league to start a team with, Brent, is Jokic your guy? Man, between him and Embiid, we're talking about two different styles here at B.A., but uh, I love the passing and I love the positive impact that Jokic makes on the entire five that are on the floor, including himself. So Jokic is the guy. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Denver on D. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. Booker can't get it to go. For Denver, they've gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Strickland, that's good. MP's got 16 points now. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, guys, Commissioner Silver's open to change. He said, quote, we're not beholden to pure tradition. We care a lot about it, but all the factors I think about when we talk about changing the rules, I'm less concerned about that. We should live in the present, be respectful of those records, but also be willing to adjust when it makes sense. TA? All right, thanks, Alex. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And that sends Nikola Jokic to the free-throw line. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both ends. Substitution on the court. Here's Paul. Pass to Durant. Tries again. Oh, it's blocked by Green. Yep, count it. Kevin Durant. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Zeke Naji out there with Jeff Green. Then it's MP, then it's Smith, and it's Jackson in at the two. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now. But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. He just makes everyone on this team so much better. Here's Strickland. That one's good. He's now 8 for 13. Terrific job by Smith to dish that one off to his open teammate right there. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. And you know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going right at the rim. I love it. Warren, the pass to Paul. And last season, new trophies unveiled for the conference finals. Denver Honoring Denver. Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Bob Cousy, That's Oscar Robertson. Personal. I love bringing up these Second names again. Foul. I agree, B.A. I mean, these Second are legends. These were those that laid the foundation for this league to be successful. Nuggets so foul. the idea of Six adding a little hardware and That's putting their names on it, foul. I couldn't think of anything foul. better. Well, Warren is so hungry to score every night that he's going to draw the attention of most defenses. Such a tough cup. The line for two. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. 
And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them, and they're locked in, and that outside shot going, that's a big difference maker. From deep, MP. They get it back. Naji. Good. Najee's got seven points here in the quarter. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. And it's Strickland missing. Nuggets foul. Both teams will make That's substitutions. Personal foul. Fourth team foul. Phoenix has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Nuggets. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And they increased their win total to 29. And against a familiar opponent, it's nice to establish a psychological advantage with the win in the first game. And what a huge performance it was for Nikola Jokic. He ran things with precision, great command of the offense, putting his teammates in all the right spots. And the Suns shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. Pass to Landale. Takes a 13-footer. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's his second personal foul. First one falls for him. At the line for the Suns. Good on both. They're enjoying a sizable lead. And what I like, B.A., they haven't stopped pressing the issue. Here's Naji. Back to MP. Fires it. That shot missing. And Phoenix the other way now. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Inside, Baisley. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And Baisley has a chance here to show off why he is in this position. He's an athlete. Down low. Strickland, that's good. Strickland. An impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on. And that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going, fully on display here. The Nuggets winning this one easily, showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what, give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. And we'll see you next time.